change. Okay, the other thing that you may be asked to do is to set um, animations and transitions on a slide. So, for example, on a bulleted list, it's quite common that you're asked to um, at create, uh, create an animation so that your slides, your bullets appear one by one or at, or at the same time. So I'll just show you how to do that. So you go to the slide that you need to create the animation on, and if you go to Animations and click on Custom Animation, okay, and then you just highlight your list. So say this was the list I need to animate. Here you've got Animate and a drop down. And then you've got different animation effects. So I've got fade, white, fly in, or I could customize. And you've got two options under each type of animation. You've got all at once or by first level paragraphs. Now all at once, as the name suggests, means that all the, the bullets will appear at the same time. By first level paragraph means that each of these bullets will appear one by one. So if I press play, you'll see Okay, so we get the first one, then the second, then the third. As opposed to, if I was to set this, I'll just remove that. If I was to set this to appear all at once. Okay, and then if I just play that, they appear all at the same time. So that's the difference between the two. Um, I'll just show you, if I do this by first level paragraph, um, you'll see the numbers here when you're on the animation tab. If you come out of the animations tab and close this, you won't see the evidence, but if you need to um, take a screenshot, you must click on, you must go from the home tab, close that, I'll just show you again, home, so we're on the home tab, it's animations and custom animations will bring back the evidence. And you need to snip this, uh, this slide like this, showing the numbers there. That's the correct evidence for this. Um, I don't want to save that. Okay, so that's how to do the bulleted list. The other thing you'll be asked to do is maybe apply transitions. So um, in the animations tab, you also have slide transitions. That's how the presentation moves from slide to slide when it's actually being showed to an audience. So if I click on this little drop down, you've got various transitions you can use. Um, so I'm just going to choose any one. It doesn't really matter. And I want to apply them to all. So you've got various um, options here. I'm going to apply them to all. And so if I run my presentation now, as I'm clicking through, um, it's not so obvious. Um, maybe I need to choose one that's a bit more obvious. I think you can kind of see it's kind of um, got this kind of stair shape that's taking you through the transitions. Now, if you want to show evidence of this, you'll see these little stars appear. On your um, computers, you've not been able to see that because of the way that the desktop is set up. It affects the features in PowerPoint. Now, the uh, technicians will, will change the settings on there. So in your exam, um, you can either take a screenshot like this, So I think what would be even better is if you go down here to Slide Sorter, click on that, and then you can clearly see each star there is what the examiner can They can then see that you've applied a style. So if I go to the snipping tool, I'll just show you what I think would be good. So I'm going to just snip it from the top here so that you can actually see that the style that you've chosen here, you can see that. So that, that bit there, sorry, that's a bit rubbish. And then these stars here are also what the examiner is looking for. So you must make sure you're screenshotting your evidence like this. Um, unfortunately, you've not been able to really do this in class because, like I say, the desktop features, but that's how you do it in your exam, and that's how I want you to do it in your exam as well. So that's how to set up transitions and animations.